method of elimination by equating coefficients. By equating the coefficients, we can eliminate the one of the variable, either x or y, in this type of uh, method. Let us see the problem. For example, solve using the method of elimination by equating coefficients. The two equations, 3x minus 4y is equals to 10. Another equation, 5x minus 3y and is equals to 24. If you notice here, x coefficient, x coefficient is 3 and y coefficient is minus 4. x coefficient is 5, y coefficient is minus 3. So they are not same now. x coefficient is 3 and here is 5, not equal. So we should make equal first. If you observe this 3 and 5, 3 comma 5 LCM is 15. So to make this 3 must be 15, you should multiply equation 1 with 5. So entire equation we can multiply the 5, each and every term. So value does not change. By multiplying or dividing the same term, same number which all the terms, the equation does not change. Same equation it is. Values only increase. So entire the first equation should multiply with 5 because 3 comma 5 LCM is 15. To make this x coefficient as 15, we are supposed to multiply with 5. Let us see now. 5 into 3x. Okay, 15x minus 5 4 so 20y is equals to 5 into 10 50. Now equation 2. We should multiply with 3 because equation 2 is 5x. 5x into 3 is it is 15x minus 3 3 is a 9y and 3 into 24 72. Now you can draw the line down. Then you can you have to eliminate by equating coefficients. Now 15x and 15x. Same terms with same sign. So we have to go for subtraction. To subtract you have to change the sign. All the denom all the down number terms sign should change. 15x is minus 15x. Minus 9 is a plus 9y. Plus 72 becomes minus 72. If already opposite sign you can do addition directly. Because of uh, same sign you have to do subtraction. These two equations. If you want to subtract 15x minus 15x cancel. Minus 20y plus 9y. So minus 11y it is. 50 minus 72. So minus 22. You can cancel the minus. And y is equals to 22 by 11. So y is equals to 2. If you eliminate x, we got y value is 2. Now this y value you can substitute any one of the equation. Either 1 or 2. Which is a small numbers you can substitute directly. By substituting y is equals to 2 in equation 1. Any one of the equations you substitute, you will get the same answer. So 3x minus 4y, y value is 2, right? Is equals to 10. 3x minus 8 is equals to 10. Then 3x is 10 plus 8, 18. x is equals to 18 divided by 3, then x is 6. x is 6 and y is equals to 2. So this is the method of elimination by equating coefficients. Let's take one more example. And here is another example. Let me take two questions. And solve using the method of elimination by equating the coefficients. The equation is x plus y is equal to 3.3. .3. And one more equation. 0 0.6 divided by 3x minus 2y is equal to minus 1. So this denominator is non-zero. Now the first equation is in proper order x term y term is equal to constant. So this is the in clear x plus y is equal to 3.3 it will be equation 1. Second equation you have to make it general form x term y term and constant. So 0 0.6 is equal to minus 1 into take right side 3x minus 2y that is minus 3x minus into minus plus 2y 0 0.6. Negative 3x plus 2y is 0 0.6. So if you make multiply the minus both the sides, then plus 3x minus 2y is minus 0 0.6. So that be equation 2. Or else this we can write in any other order. Like 3x minus 2y is equal to minus 0 0.6. Same. Equation 2. X term, y term and is equal to constant. If you observe x coefficient is 1 in this. 
this is 3. So first equation you multiply with 3. Now that is 3x plus 3y is equal to 3.3 into 3. So entire x cube you can simplify. So it's a 9.9. And second equation is asked is 3x minus 2y minus 0 0.6. Now you can subtract this because minus become plus it's plus. So here you can cancel this plus 3x minus 3x plus 3y plus 2y. So plus 5y 9.9 9 plus 0 0.6. So 10.5. Then y is equals to 10.5 by 5 2.1 y value is 2.1 y value is substitute in equation 1 so from first equation x plus y is 2.1 is equal to 3.3 .3. from this x is 3.3 .3 minus 2.1 so x value is uh, 1.2 right x is equals to 1.2 and y is uh, 2.1 given equations we make into general form first if any equation is like this, x term, y term is equal to constant. Then observe the coefficients. You can by equating them. If you already opposite sign, just to do addition directly. Same sign, plus 3x and plus 3x. No? So I did subtraction. To subtract, you have to change the sign of the second equation terms. Okay, So this is the way we can use. Next, we go for one more method. Cross multiplication method in this.